What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about 10 very specific fragrances that I think are just phenomenal for the current springtime weather that most of us have been getting. Now some of these offer more versatility than others. Some are fresher than others. Some dominate with notes like petagrain or you know mint leaf to give more of a green facet which I very much enjoy during this time of year. But all of these are stellar and definitely worth a sample if you're looking for some quality stuff for the springtime. So let's discuss them. Stay tuned. Starting with a quite popular fragrance from Electimus, this is called Imperium. So Imperium has a little bit of Invent Aventus, kind of Cedrapoise, meets a little bit of Nishane Ani. Like there's elements of this fragrance that remind you of those while still kind of being its own thing. Fruitiness, a little bit of floral, musk and woods mainly, a lot of vanilla. It's just really good. Highly versatile vanilla based fragrance. That's the thing, most of the time you're not gonna get this level of versatility out of something based around vanilla, but they pulled it off here. It smells absolutely amazing. A phenomenal take on similar style to a lot of those that I mentioned before with really good performance and it's not super expensive. It's in the mid to low $100 range for 100 ml pure parfum. I believe it's a pure parfum if I remember correctly. I don't see any information there. We go in the corner. If I remember correctly, it's pure parfum. It doesn't say on the bottle. But for the money, it's kind of hard to beat. And if you're looking for probably the safest play from them, at least that I've tried, you might want to look into this one. It's getting a lot of love for a good reason because it's a damn good fragrance. Again, that's Electimus Imperium. This next one is exactly as the name would indicate from Montal. It's Woods and Spices, another one that's highly versatile, super powerful, very affordable. One of the hype beasts from this particular brand, Pierre Montal, puts out some great stuff. Man, that smells good. A variety of woods. It's got this powdery cardamom to it. No, it doesn't smell like Lana Wee Delone, but that's what I attribute this powdery nature that I get in the opening. It's powdery, it's creamy, it's woodsy, it's spicy. It's masculine and versatile, and like I said, crazy performance compliment getter for most people including myself wife's a big fan when I wear this one and it's a little too thick a little too cloying for high heat summer but milder spring days in the 70 60 70 even low 80 degree range this is a gem right here definitely worth a sample if you've maybe not looked into too much from Montal this is a great place to start gets a lot of love for good reason it's Montal wood and spices now it's no secret that I'm a fan of mango Actually, the day this video goes live, this is my scent of the day. From Sphinx Fragrances, this is Mangolicious Hibistorm. Interesting name, right? So it's as it sounds, mango and hibiscus. There's other florals, but it's very juicy, powdery, fresh, tropical. <sighs> Unisex leans a bit feminine. It definitely does. There's a lot of florals here. Fruity floral, but quality stuff great performance this is becoming one of my absolute favorites it's a contender for top two or three from the brand like it's fighting out a spot versus black anubis because sphinx elixir is my favorite from the brand i highly encourage checking out that one too but this is so good it even has a little bit of a zesty almost spicy like tone i don't remember the notes exactly but it's not too sweet but it does have a nice sweet accord it's not super juicy fruity but it kind of is at the same time in the opening and again you have a spicy white floral hibiscus and i believe a little bit of rose even in here maybe even some lang lang like there's a couple of florals in the heart but this stuff is great ladies gentlemen anybody watching this if you were looking for something to try from sphinx or something a little bit different if you like florals and or you like tropical fruits you might want to take a look at this one it is that good i mean get a sample this is so good mangolicious hippie storm from sphinx I think this is an all-time great for the spring. I haven't put it in my rotation in a while, and having sprayed it when I was gathering these fragrances really makes me want to wear it. This is Amouage Reflection Man. Very situational fragrance. I only typically wear it in slightly dressier occasions, but man, is this good. A little herbal green, powdery white floral. 
Uh, nice woodsy tone, classy and elegant, but still masculine while being floral and powdery. Such a good one. Crazy strong stuff. Crazy strong. Again, all time great. This I go back and forth with Epic Man versus this as what's my favorite from Amouage. I have like six or seven, I think seven bottles from them now, and I've tried a dozen to 15, roughly. I'd have to really sit there and think about the list of fragrances I've sampled from them. I think it's like 15 or so. I've tried a lot from the house, big fan of the brand, and this one really speaks to my personality. Of course, the Fresh Iris fragrance is one that I thoroughly enjoy, but it's not gonna be for everyone, so definitely sample first. It is really powerful. Uh, and it is quite powdery at the same time. A lot of orris and neroli and, you know, white floral, purple floral. But, like I said, it has these herbal tones, woody tones that kind of reel it back from being super feminine, at least in my opinion. And it's Amouage, Reflection Man. This next one's a brand new release for this year. The mint, the dominance of mint leaf in this makes it so appropriate for spring. This is from M. Mikalef. This is Desir Toxic Lintense. Man, is this good. It is a more intensive take on the original. You still get that hemp oil smell, that kind of herbal green, smoky, uh, slightly spiced tone, that black currant, inky, tart fruitiness. You get all of the things that was great about the original. The intensity is it's a stronger opening with a lot of mint. It's fresher while still being more intense. It's so good. I'm such a fan. I would encourage you to sample this one, especially if you're a fan of the original. Just know going into it, it is a fresher fragrance. It's still, like I said, it still has the original through and through, just intensified with a lot of green mint leaf. I really think that's the biggest difference. That's the only real difference I can detect from it. It's going to be super redundant if you have the original, but if you're that much of a fan of Desir Toxic, you at least have to try this one. Great performer, great quality, and it smells fantastic. This is one of my favorite releases of the year thus far. And I think it's great for the springtime. It's Desir Toxic Lintense. Fruity, juicy, citric, a little gourmandish, sea salt, chocolate kind of thing going on, but not heavy. Not heavy. It's, in my opinion, the freshest fragrance from Argos. This is Argos Birth of Venus. Look at that beautiful artwork on the plaque on the front. I mean, the bottles are just complete works of art. They always have been. The technology behind them, all metal cap, strong collar. Phenomenal atomizer. Top tier oils. Great performance. Unique blend. I mean, it's just it's so good. Has kind of the rosy, woodsy core of Adonis Awakens, but a much fresher, more unisex take. Technically marketed for women, but a very unisex fragrance. I don't think that's all that it's all that feminine leaning. A lot of guys like to wear Palace Athene and Argos Porfem in the line, which are both more feminine fruity florals than this still incredible fragrances but it's fun funny to me that this is marketed for women i think it's marketed for women specifically but i i don't think it's all that feminine i mean the peach kind of gives it a little bit of feminine femininity if you will but it's an addictive smell when you get around to it, it works great in the warmer weather but has enough depth and density to work in the cooler weather that's why i think it's an ideal spring fragrance because no matter where you're at with your climate for this season this will probably work. Definitely sample worthy. It's Argos, Birth of Venus. Now, I got this one recently, and I've been spending a little time with it, and i got to say, I'm, I'm pretty much head over heels in love with it. This is Nishane's EGE. I know I'm late to the game. A lot of people told me for a long time I would enjoy it. Finally got a 50 ml. I love it. Uh, it's very soapy on my skin. I get a little bit of a minty green feel. I get citrus. It's a little watery and aquatic. There's some darker notes that kind of ground it with a woody tone. But it even comes across a little aldehydic and slightly ozonic to me. I don't remember seeing aldehydes in the notes, but I kind of get that fizziness to it. This is a bright, beautiful, clean, everyday wear. This is such a good fragrance. Light and fresh enough to wear, I think it totally would be great in the summer. But I think it's even better in the spring because there is a little bit of density to it. But, man, this is so good. This is going to be hard to even say, but I think it's now my favorite Nishane fragrance over Ani. This is my kind of fragrance right here. This is like signature scent for me. Not that I'll ever have a signature scent ever another day in my life with the amount of fragrances I have. But if I were in that position with my taste and everyday life, this is the kind of stuff I could rock every day and be a happy camper when it comes to how I smell, the performance, the versatility. 
and I just think it's ideal for spring. Get your nose on this if you haven't yet. It's that good to me. Nishanae's EGE. Now the color of this bottle is very fitting because it is a very green fragrance. Citrus fruity, but fresh green spicy, and it's oak moss based and tea. Oak moss and tea. But it's very fresh green and spicy because of the ambroxan, the use of ambroxan with state of mind, sense of humor. This is such a great fragrance. It's a unique bottle design, this triangular deal, and this is not plastic. That is a heavy glass cap with metal that is magnetic, great atomizer, great fragrance. Oh, such a good fragrance. I mean, I love the use of ambroxan here because you smell it but it's not the main benefactor of the aroma in the blend. To me, it does what I feel Ambroxan should do. It uplifts everything else in the fragrance, it makes it stronger, fresher, pop more, if you will, for lack of a better term. It brightens the citrus and the fruits, it freshens up the earthy green tones, and just gives it more push and staying power. It just It's such a great blend. I love the way this was composed. It really speaks to what I like for the springtime. Performance on this is great too. It performs really well. It's pricey, but it's, neat. it's a niche video. Nothing here is really all that cheap, but everything here, in my opinion, is absolutely worth a sample, and that includes this beautiful green concoction called State of Mind, Sense of Humor. This next one, in my personal opinion, is one of the greatest fragrances ever created for me personally, for me and for my wife. She wears it often. She has her own bottle. She loves it. It's top five in my collection. It is a Haroff Signature Rosé. It is ideal for the spring and the fall. I've worn it in the summer. No big deal. It's rose and incense is what it's based around. There's some sugared sweetness. There's some warm wood oud that doesn't offer any funkiness to it. It's not a typical like oud rose kind of fragrance. It's not. It's a very fresh, slightly sweet, and very smoky, resinous kind of rose fragrance. An absolute masterpiece. Great performer on my skin. It's one that once it kind of calms down on your skin, if you were to heat up and or get any water on it or anything, just anything, it really brings the fragrance back to life. Hours, and it doesn't matter how long. If you haven't washed it off yet, it'll come back to life. This stuff is so magnificent. I wear it sporadically out the shower when I use the shave set. I wear it during the day. I've worn it to dinner. I wear it just wherever. This, though some might think it's a little dressier than I treat it, I think it's good for everything because when you just really love smelling something, the situations become irrelevant and you just wear it because you want to wear it. And this is one of those fragrances for me. Now I do think transitional seasons like spring and fall is where it's ideal. It's not the most ideal high heat summer fragrance. Again, I've worn it many times in the summer. But you should definitely spend the 7 bucks and get yourself a 3ml sample of this in the link below. It is that good. I absolutely adore this fragrance. It's Zaharoff Signature Rosé. Last but not least, this is kind of quintessential spring. I did pick it up this year after procrastinating for a long time about it. It's one of the best Zerzhoffs ever put out. It's one of the best mint fragrances I've ever smelled. It's one of the best citrus fragrances I've ever smelled. It is Renaissance. Renaissance is that good. Should you try it? Yes. Should you get a sample? Yes. Should you blind buy it? I'm not going to say yes. That's up to you. Blind buy at your own risk. I try to blind buy so you don't have to, which this wasn't a blind buy. I had tried before, but juicy, mouth-watering, fresh citrus, minty green. Uh, it's just clean, musky, great performer, pretty good quality smelling stuff here. Not completely synthetic smelling. I mean, it's not loaded with naturals. I'm sure there's some naturals here. I've never looked at the breakdown or any, or have access to that information anyways. It doesn't smell overly synthetic to me. But it also doesn't smell super photorealistic in all aspects of it. But it's great. It smells of pretty good quality to me. And uh, it's one that I definitely put the stamp of approval behind if you're looking for a great spring and summer option that's worth grabbing a 100 milliliter bottle of, even if you're not going to finish it which is my case, it's worth checking out. This is one you can just go back to, at least for me. I can just go back to it any time if I don't know what to wear and I just want something fresh that's going to be inviting that my significant other is going to be enjoy enjoying. And when we go out in the world, I know others, even if they don't say anything, they're going to think I smell good. This is that good, in my opinion. Quintessential spring is Zerzhoff Renaissance. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Of these 10, what have you tried? I'll try to have links down below for everything if you're interested in checking any of them out. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the ones I discussed in this video and you give them a spray now,
You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.